Now let's look at the binary arithmetic. As a matter of fact, there is, no, I'm not talking about binary arithmetic, I'm talking about octal arithmetic, okay? And as I was telling you, there is nothing to be understood over here because in octal arithmetic what we do is first convert octal to binary and then we perform the operation in binary okay so if you know binary arithmetic you know octal arithmetic from the operation in binary okay there is nothing new over here now the next number system for us to look at is hexadecimal number system okay hexadecimal number system so in my hexadecimal number system my base what is hexadecimal hexadecimal is 16 my base is equal to 16 i have 16 allowable symbols which are 0 to 9 and i have a b c d e and f okay my a represents 10 in decimal b represents 11 in decimal c represents 12 13 14 and 15 0 to 15 how many symbols 16 symbols okay so these are my allowable symbols in hexadecimal okay so first we are going to look at decimal to hexadecimal this is similar to what we have seen in decimal to binary and decimal to octal so i am going to copy what we have already covered okay this I'll copy and I'm going to paste it over here okay and I think still something is remaining the second part is remaining right so this is the second part and I'm going to copy it and paste it over here. So obviously you can very well tell me what is the change over here. The change is instead of 8, I have a 16 over here. And similarly, instead of 8, I have a 16 over here as well so I successively divide by 16 and store the remainders and write the remainders from last to first for fractional part I successively multiply by 16 do it until I get 0 in the fraction and I write the integer or integral part of the products from first to last so let's take an example to see how do we convert from decimal to hexadecimal okay my decimal number is 1647.246093375 okay this is my decimal number and I want to find out the equivalent hexadecimal number okay so first we are going to tackle the integer part which is what which is 1647 we would have to repeatedly divide it by 16 okay 16 so what we would we would get a quotient if we divide 16 by 1647, we would get a question.